God bless you. My name is Pastor Harris Kakalidis, and you're watching here in the program, Getting to Know Jesus. Last year, as I went to a library, I saw a book that caught my eye. Um, it was called Saving Jesus from the Church by Robin R. Myers. The front cover said, How to Stop Worshiping Christ and Start Following Jesus. How sad it is that trash like this are in our Christian libraries, um, especially in the Christian section of the library and bookstores, which state that we don't need to worship Jesus. We just need to follow him. Jesus Christ needs to be worshipped and needs to be obeyed as God. Isaiah 9 verse 6, speaking about Jesus, the Messiah says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Thomas said unto Jesus, when Jesus resurrected from the dead, these are the words of Thomas to Jesus. Thomas said, and Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. This is John chapter 20, verse 28. And Hebrews, the Father says of Jesus, Hebrews 1, verses 8. The Father says of Jesus Christ this, But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. And when the <clears throat> wise men saw Jesus, they worshipped him. If you read Matthew chapter 2. Um, as a matter of fact, their words um, to Herod was, Where is that is born? Where is he that is born? King of the Jews, for we have seen his star in the east and we are come to worship him they came to worship jesus matthew 2 verse 2 and when they got to the child they worshiped them the bible says this look look at um matthew chapter 2 verses 11 12 and they, and when they were come into the house they saw the young child with mary his mother and fell down and worshiped him and when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So they came to worship Jesus. Jesus is worshipped all through the whole Bible. Jesus is God manifested in human form. Second Timothy, actually First Timothy, three sixteen says this. Without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, and preached unto the Gentiles, and believed on in the world, and received in glo received up in, into glory. It was God manifest in human form. How can we not but worship him? I think Robin R. Myers hasn't read the Bible. I think he's a false prophet, and I think that he's casting many people to hell along with him. Open your eyes and see that Jesus Christ is God. God bless you.